Where is Ganning? Story by Robert Munch, illustrated by Ilan Despituk. One day, Ganning went to her father and said, I want to go on a trip. Her father stopped working and said, Oh, are you going to go to a movie? No, said Ganning. Going to go to a hockey game? No, said Ganning. Going to the store? No, said Ganning. Well, where are you going? asked her father. I, said Ganning, I'm going to go to Kapus Kasing. No, said her father. I know about Kapus Kasing. When people go to Kapus Kasing, they spend hundreds of dollars. They shop and shop and shop and spend all their money. I want to go to Kapus Kasing anyway, said Ganning. No way, said her father. Gunning sat on the front steps of the restaurant for a while. Then, she got her bicycle and started pedaling down the road to Kapus Casing. When it was lunchtime, the father said, Where is Gunning? I don't know, said her mother. The last time I saw her, she was going down the street on her bicycle. On her bicycle? said her father. Gunning? Bicycle? Couples casing? Oh no! He jumped into their car and started driving down the road. He drove almost halfway to Couples casing and there was Gunning, pedaling like crazy. The father stopped and said, What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? There are trucks, there are cars, there are buses, there are motorcycles. You're going to get killed. He picked up the bicycle and threw it in the trunk. When they got home, Gunning's father looked at her and said, Don't drive your bicycle to Kapos Casing. Then he went back to the restaurant and started making chicken balls. Gunning sat on the front steps for a while and then went to get her rollerblades. When it was time for dinner, her father said, Where is Gunning? I don't know, said her mother. The last time I saw her, she was going down the road on her rollerblades. Rollerblades? said the father. Gunning? Rollerblades! Kapos casing! Oh no! He jumped into the car and drove down the road to Kapos casing. About 50 kilometers out of town, there was Gunning, skating along. The father stopped and said, What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? There are trucks! There are cars! There are buses! There are motorcycles! You are going to get killed! Don't go to Kapos Casing on your bicycle. Don't go to Kapos Casing on a bus. Don't go to Kapos Casing on a skateboard. And don't go to Kapos Casing in a helicopter. Just don't go. The next day, Gunning got up and said, Oh, here I am, and I really want to take a trip. But since she couldn't go out of town, she went downtown to the library. There, she met a clown who was doing a show for kids. At the end of his performance, he gave out balloons. He said to the first kid, How many balloons do you want? The kid said, Two balloons. He said to the second kid, How many balloons do you want? The kid said, One balloon. 
Gunnin came up and the clown said, How many balloons do you want? Gunnin said, Three hundred! Three hundred balloons? said the clown. I never gave anyone that many before. So he gave Gunning 100 balloons, 200 balloons, 300 balloons, and Gunning started to float right up into the sky. The clown said, You'd better look out! You're going to float all the way to Kapo's casing! I know! said Gunning. Isn't it great? When it was lunchtime, her father said, Where is Gunning? I don't know, said her mother. She went to the library and she hasn't come back. Her father walked down to the library and said, Where is my kid? Oh, said the librarian. So that was your kid. She's on her way to Kapo's casing. Oh no, said her father. Is she on a bicycle? No, said the librarian. Is she on rollerblades? No, said the librarian. Then how is she getting to Kapo's casing? Asked the father. With 300 balloons, said the librarian. She is floating down the Trans-Canada Highway holding on to 300 balloons. Oh no! yelled the father. He jumped into the car, drove all the way to Kapo's casing, and parked by a shopping mall. He looked up, and there was Gunning coming down out of the sky, letting go of one balloon at a time. She came down right on top of her father's car. Gunning looked at him and said, Daddy, you came to go shopping! How nice! And you brought little sister too! The end. Hi everybody! If you enjoyed this video, subscribe here for more. Bye!